Hi there, this is Justin. If you want to become a better business analyst, then this video is for you. Being a business analyst is tough. It requires mastering a wide range of skills from being able to work with data, which is more the technical side, to working with different stakeholders, which requires understanding people, being able to read them, work with different personality types, psychology. There's a lot go a lot goes into providing a technical service to stakeholders. Um, now that everyone's working uh, remotely, it even adds to that, right? Because now you've got to be able to communicate in a very clear way. And, you know, the job is just getting tougher and tougher as um, time goes on. So in this video, I want to kind of introduce you to a different way of thinking um, about providing services as a business analyst. And the way I've done this, I want to, the way I've structured this video is I want to introduce you to three different personas that I want you to keep in the back of your mind. If you can start thinking more like these three personas, you're going to become a better business analyst. So these three personas are the Special Forces Commander, the Michelin Star Chef, and the Entrepreneur. So let's start with the Special Forces Commander. So a big challenge I see a lot of analysts deal with is they receive a project um, Perhaps it's to conduct a very important analysis for the business. And if you think about it like going to kill a terrorist in a building, what these analysts, what a lot of analysts will do is they'll run guns blazing through the front door, spraying everywhere, hope to kill the terrorist and not die and let the hostages get killed along the way. I know I'm making it a bit dramatic, but uh, you'll see in a second why I think this is a powerful framing of this um, challenge. So what special forces do is they do a lot of prep before entering a building to rescue someone or to kill a target. They do a huge amount of preparation. They study all the information they have. They ask questions to whoever can provide the answers. They draw um, diagrams and plan every single step. Now, obviously, as a business analyst, it's not as extreme as special forces, but the lesson here is before you run headfirst into a challenge, um, stop, think it through, make sure you understand it completely. Um, try and plan it at least in your head, how you would go from point A to point Z. Uh, what are some of the booby traps, you know, that you might run into? Um, and is there a way to check those booby traps before you start going down the path? Um, perhaps it's doing another very small analysis, going and asking the right questions to someone that's not yet involved in the process to expedite having to stop halfway through and then you know having to backtrack so start thinking more like a special forces commander when you receive tasks um, make sure you understand them that's probably the number one so ask the right questions so it's super super clear if there's any ambiguity stop make sure you eliminate that ambiguity and then you know, start working on the project. So the second uh, persona I want you to keep in the back of your mind and think more about is that of the Michelin star chef. So um, this is a picture of a Michelin star chef and you can see he's preparing a dish. And every Michelin star chef understands that the dish is not done until the, the presentation is perfect. So they put a lot of effort into every step of the process, right? From picking the ingredients to cooking the meal to putting it, you know, not, you know, in a beautiful way on the plate and then actually 
making sure it's delivered to the 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 customer or the recipient of the dish um, is done you know correctly so what a lot of analysts fail to do or they do very poorly is they will do a piece of work and then they will just send a quick email with a one line or send a CSV through or you know they put very little effort in to present how they present the work and then the present presenting the work is both what it looks like in terms of can I actually if it's a PowerPoint does it look good can I read it is it clear but also just the communication so um, you know I've seen this over and over again where an analyst will do the work market is completed you know and that's it instead of writing up their findings in a clear way explaining why something that was maybe broken that they were tasked to fix you know why it happened so we can learn from it so think of a michelin star chef when you finished a piece of work make sure it's wrapped up nicely and delivered in a you know in a in a useful way so that the person that's responsible for either taking that piece of work and moving forward with it um, or communicating the findings to someone else can do it in a you know in a clear and correct way always try and think two steps ahead of how that piece of work is going to be used by other people and then make sure it's packaged in a nice way um, and this kind of ties into just going the extra mile right take another five minutes and just read through what you've written is it clear have i communicated this in a clear way and also be open to sharing your thoughts um you're not just you know a robot that's meant to do a b and c people want to hear your opinion as well now's a great opportunity to share that as part of the, the handing over of the work and then lastly and probably the most complicated persona to try and you know think more about and adopt uh, the mindset of is that of the entrepreneur so if you really want to become a better analyst you've got to kind of shift your focus a bit outside of the realm of the position and i'd say this goes in most uh, jobs right if you're working in customer support or a software engineer it's always a good idea in my opinion to think a bit broader try and really wear the hat at least think through wearing the hat of the actual owner of the company or that of an entrepreneur um, and the the reason i suggest this is you want to be able to take on more responsibility think a bit bigger understand the business so that you can then actually be more proactive so that's the key phrase here a good if you want to become a better business analyst you've got to become more proactive and the way to become more proactive is by actually understanding the business like the entrepreneur thinks about it so that you can understand the pain points of the business of different stakeholders in the business and then go the extra mile and be proactive around helping the business right so maybe it's you know, you notice the sales team is really struggling and you have an idea of conducting an analysis that can help the sales team in closing more deals. But since no one's actually coming to you because maybe there's, you know, a weak sales manager or there's lack of co collaboration between the teams in the organization, but since you're kind of being thinking more like the entrepreneur and, and trying to understand what's happening in the business from the from a broader standpoint you're able to actually identify this as an opportunity so now maybe you go to your manager and say listen can i have wednesday afternoon i have this idea for analysis i think it would be great for the sales team that makes you really stand out and you're able to present pr uh, provide a ton of value to the company um, outside of your you know what's actually being asked of you and at the moment with the you know the stock market you know falling and a lot of companies laying off people one way to kind of protect yourself is if the company sees you as this person that's constantly providing additional value 
than what they basically expect of you. Now you're just so much more valuable than others in your team. And if all of a sudden, you know, 10% of all the teams have to be let go, you're not going to be the one that they let go because you're just providing so much additional value than what the company is basically paying for, right? So just to wrap up, um, I don't want to ramble on too long. Special Forces Commander, Michelin Chef, Michelin Five Star, Michelin Chef, and Entrepreneur. Keep these three personas in the back of your mind. Um, and, you know, start thinking more like these individuals, um, or these personas, and you'll over time become a better business analyst. So that's it. If you have any questions um, on this topic, any other ways to kind of reframe this that could be helpful for others, then please let me know in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit the like button. It takes, takes one sec and that will help get the video in front of other business analysts that could benefit from the content. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.